Oh, the tool. I love this thing. Um, I used to always lose allen keys and stuff, so I have to constantly buy new kits. But this has all the allen keys that you need. Take part of the gun in the back right here. It's got one side for all your allen keys. As you can see. Then another side for. You've got a 90 degree overhead pick, straight pick. You've got a razor blade. Which actually. The razor blade has a little sleeve here that it goes into, so you're not going to accidentally cut your finger, so it just pops in there. You've got the wrench for macro life things and for the spacer rod. You have a bottle opener. You've got the tool for the empty ASA. And you've got a Phillips head screwdriver. So a really, really handy tool. Um, I use this for protecting everything. It's, the only thing I don't like about it is it's when you're turning all keys and stuff, it's kind of bulky, so when you turn it, you can't turn it as fast as the regular one, but just a little nitpicking thing. And you've got the die, die slow glue, which is basically just repackaged down 33. Okay, just head to the barrel. It is the standard die ultralight, they've been putting this on their guns for a while. No surprises here. It's got a really nice, no, you can't see that, but the finish is really nice on the inside. Um, the one thing I did notice is the finish is much, much better than the Lux Barrel. It's like, it's night and day, but it says die you all on there. And, and uh, something to note though, the threads on here are, I know a couple people said it before, but the threads on here are actually extremely sharp, and I actually cut my finger, can't really see that, but... I've got a couple of lines on my finger from when I was just got this, but once you use it for a little while, it kind of wears down a tiny bit. So and that's basically it. Let's put that aside. Okay, screw this in. Oh wait. First, I'll show you the barrel sock. With the die barrel sock, the barrel when it goes in the sock, it doesn't extend all the way, it extends right about here, and say you accidentally shoot this, there's a small chance, this this is actually stretchable here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a small chance that it will um, go into here and not break, and even if it does break, since the barrel is sealed off right here, all the paint is going to be in this tip right here, and not all over your barrel, which is the main reason I bought this. Screw this in there. Here we go, die and tea. So, let's see, what can I say about the gun? Um, this thing is extremely light. I mean, I, you have to really feel this to believe it, but this weighs, to me this feels like it weighs less than a rotor, and to reach the point where a gun weighs less than the rotor, that's just, that's extremely, that's, that's really good on dice part. But it does still have a macro line, which it's not, I don't really have a complaint because the macro line does come out of the front of the ASA. So it's not really a problem like it was with earlier guns where it come out the side and be hitting your wrist. So you've got the nice rubber grips here, and people complain that the rubber grips don't make the gun look cheap. It's a cheap gun. Um, if you feel this gun, you're not going to be calling this thing cheap. You're not going to be complaining about these rubber things here. It just, it makes it feel so comfortable. Your thumbs here, it's not scraping against it's metal. You've got the back here, it's not hitting there either. And the grips, they actually wrap around the back there. Which, if you're not wearing gloves, you can really feel how comfortable it is. But, you've got the tool feed neck. No tool in there, just turn the feed neck. No real complaints or issues with that, it just works. It's feed neck. Um, Take a look at the breech. As you can see, it's got the eye patch system, which is really nice. Say you ever break paint or anything in your breech, or not break paint, but chalk paint. It's just, it's going to clean out. It's going to make sure your eyes don't get covered in paint. And the detents are a really nice design. I know um, Jack Wood was saying a while ago, well, 
He uses the uh, finger cell detents, just the rubber, because they're super reliable and there's not much that can go wrong, because there's no springs or anything. And this is essentially that taken to a ne this next level. It's just rubber here, it's like, the design of the rubber is basically held in like that, so when you put it in there, it's just like that, but it doesn't, like, wear out or flex out. So it just, there's no failure point for the detents, like the spring ones, where um, you can get dirt in there and it'll jam, or the locks when it jams. Eye cover will fly off. Slide it in there. Fits in nice. Um, it just has regular eyes. There's no laser eyes or anything fancy like that. I, I would like to see laser eyes on a gun like this, but it's not that big of a complaint. The uh, Hyper 3 regulator, Hyper 4, whatever's on here. Um, it's super comfortable. You've got the rubber sleeve on there. Just like the DM9, except this is more of a contour design in the front, so when you wrap your hand around there, it's kind of curls out a tiny bit on the bottom, right here. Uh, triggers, um, I don't know. It's, it's a super stiff trigger because of the spring, but when you take it out, the spring